Torgal, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. You could escape us, did you, Branded? You were born a slave, and you'll die one! To all the ducal dogs! Ducal dogs? They were innocent people! Weak winds! Oh, <laughs> 
I'm sorry, Lady Anna. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than one mother. Gav! Clive! Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. Right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kuka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Sit solo then. We have a lot to discuss. I heard Otto barking at his life earlier. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick. This place is getting crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. 
But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline dominions holding, we are bound by mutual accord. This is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbrek is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
It will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Daleks. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Ortha. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate turn to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even a rat remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we looked to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? It's easy. They're mine from the Mother Crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the Mother Crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Higher ups. Gods themselves. So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a base where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> for this. Don't mind me. Just taking a bit. I heard Otto barking his love earlier. 
five, was it? It's never this late. Where are you, Ben? Is everything all... Forgive me, young man. I'm worried about my friend, you see. Why leave the safety for the hut? For coin. It's an idol I can't survive. Wait. I was. Then, I ask a fact. I'll do it. Oh. What can you tell me? His name? He's been working for... I'll speak to him. Safe travel. Lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. It can't be that bad. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. Nothing. Worst of all, that letter I lost. Maybe if you retrace your scour storm from coast to coast, if I could. But there are no. Not a... Fine. You see? It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. Go hands bales, perhaps. If you can. If it's the. I trust. Sure, he doesn't. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make a sandbreak as soon as I can. Shall we consider today? Did you learn everything you needed? <laughs> Do you need any help, uh, Miss Molly? I don't know. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know.
Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and a tint dye is Borbile Tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? All right. So you're really going through with it? Since we've been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known it. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. You convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the idea in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, do you serve? Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, it's God's for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you. I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. This is a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blinding her with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a fool pool. When you get back. I suppose that's everything. Not to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goats at your service. Well, at the hideaway service, anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> Well, maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Here you go. enough? Do you need any help, uh, Miss Molly? I know. You, you could rinse and chop these greens for the stew, I think. Well, well, well. Someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny. I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, would say. Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then? Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The 
fewer our numbers, the better our chances are going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. The Fritzel seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what's up out of Garuda. And, did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably build us a path out of the capital of zone, if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. So, we're meeting in Northreach. But will I find Sid and Jill before this Dane finds me? The courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I'd better keep my eyes open. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. More of the lost supplies. He could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. I've come this far. Might as well ask around. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? I hear from Master Quentin. I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait... I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Looking to be a fine harvest. This ah, oh, your Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflamst arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. Can't get a pip out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. So you're the new rivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. 
Truly. I'm hungry. My sister, too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the town. <laughs> Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Back, are you? Did Master Quint him summon you? The shad's all salted and smoked. Seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. But he's waited long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. A whole day in the line, isn't it? But what will we do for supper? But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing? You haven't much, but you're free to look. You're always welcome here in Lost Wing. Sun's setting fast. Can I even... I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Sun's setting fast. the Quint. I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Ah, oh, glory to Grigor. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I suppose I tried. And if I don't bring those grapes in for... You look like me. All right. Oh.
added the grocer, now his daughter had been steeped. and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly? Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Looks like that was the last of them. Now he's dead. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. I'll go to Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of England. Well, I'll...
Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? Hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Best man on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> reckless sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. They're clearing. Police. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. So, Randall, looks like I was too late. 
He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. That'll be enough for today. But how did the grocer know his dog? Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the south gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. No, I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel, but that was not of the checkpoint. I hope the dame has friends in the south. afford even that much of my time branded my mistake no mine upon reflection you don't have the scent of a branded about you the flowers Otto always did know how to please me more than Sid ever did anyway do you think you could please me Clive you're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To a final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. 
Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? These are all from Dalmegia. And what can I do for you? And a fine, fine day to you. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my master than you are. It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth! That wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you care to follow me, we can speak more of the veil. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling, welcome to the Vale. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole night searching for people. Though I can't so many good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh. And take this. Proof of that trust. 
And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matter to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask me there. I should probably start here. 